Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Optifabric, which is a mod which allows us to use Optifine with Fabric and other mods as well. And today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifabric to be able to use Optifine on Fabric for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. We can also do this for version 1.18.1 once Optifabric and Optifine are released for those specific versions. As you guys can see, I am currently playing on version 1.18. However, 1.18.1 has just come out. So eventually Optifabric and Optifine and other mods are going to be made available for version 1.18.1. All right, so as you guys can see, I have actually got Optifabric installed and I am using Optifine. And if I go into my main menu and click on mods, you can see that I've got the fabric loader installed. If I scroll down, we can see that I've got Optifabric installed as well. I've got other mods as well. These are fabric based mods. So I've got Starlight and I've got the Ferrite core mod as well, which helps us reduce memory usage. There are a couple of mods which are not compatible with Optifabric and most of them are going to be the Caffeine MC mods because they do the same sorts of stuff that Optifine is using. So you won't be able to use those specific mods with Optifabric. There are other mods which are compatible. So for example, as I mentioned, Ferrite Core is compatible, Starlight is compatible, and Phosphor is also compatible, which is a Caffeine MC mod as well. If we go into our options menu and click on video settings, you can see that these are the video settings that we can expect from Optifine. We have a shaders button here, which I can click into and I can choose different shaders for my game. And then we can actually go into shader options as well and change the different shader settings. So for example, I can change the shader options profile here from medium to high. And that's all thanks to the ability to use Optifine with the fabric. So let's click on done. And we have other options here as well. We can actually go into details and choose different details that we can enable and disable stuff like giving the trees a more detailed look. So you can actually change the value for the trees. For example, you can choose fancy trees and we can do the same for the clouds as well and we can also change the fog settings as well in the detail settings options here if we go into the animations we can actually go and turn on or off the individual animations that are listed here or we can click on this button here that says all off and that will turn all of the animations to off or we can turn them on again. That is a really convenient feature as well. If you guys are experiencing some lag spikes, then you might want to think about disabling some of the animations as well. Let's go back one level. We also have the quality settings as well. And these quality settings are also quite useful. So if you guys are using texture packs, some of them might require you to use the natural textures and the emissive textures as well. We can also go ahead and enable the better grass option here as well. And we've got the connected textures and the custom skybox options here as well. If we go one level back, we also have the performance section here. We do get some performance based options here, which we can go ahead and enable or disable depending on your personal situation based on your computer hardware. So you can come in the performance section and try to enable some of these options and see if they help out your game. Optifine does actually help you get some nice FPS in your game. It is meant to double your FPS and sometimes even give you more FPS in your game compared to the vanilla game. So if you guys are getting low FPS on your vanilla game, I would recommend to try out Optifine and definitely try out Optifabric so you can use Optifine with some other fabric based mods. If we go back one level and we can also go into this other section here and we also have the option to change the auto save duration, turn off the weather, show FPS in our game and also control the time options here and enable or disable the advanced tooltips as well. You can also go ahead and change the screen resolution in this section if you wanted to do that. As I mentioned earlier, Optifine does come with the connected glass and connected textures ability. So as you guys can see, we do have glass here and there's no border lines showing in between the glass. And the same thing goes for the textures as well. We also have a zoom mod as well. So if I go into first person mode, I can press C on my keyboard and I can actually zoom in and out of different areas just by using the C key on my keyboard. 
you can also go ahead and enable or disable dynamic lighting and that option basically allows us to illuminate the ground and our surroundings if we are holding a light emitting object in our hand so as you can see i do have a torch in my inventory if i enable that torch nothing is happening but if i was to go into the options click on video settings and enable the dynamic lights and change that to fast or fancy and then go back inside my game you can see that everything around me is now lit up and it's a really cool function if you guys are playing survival mode and you are entering some caves you can just hold a torch in your hand everything around you should be illuminated if i was to get rid of the torch then obviously that would get rid of the light as well as soon as you hold the torch in your hand then that's going to make everything light up like so you can also use optifine and optifabric to use dramatic skies and custom sky boxes so as you guys can see i am using a custom sky resource pack so if i go into options click on resource packs you can see that i have got the dramatic skies texture pack enabled and that gives us some custom sky boxes to use inside our game. So you can actually play without any shaders and still have some nice looking sky boxes in your game thanks to Optifabric and Optifine. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys now how to download and how to install Optifabric with Optifine for Fabric on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 and this is also going to be possible for version 1.18.1 and future 1.18 releases for Minecraft when Optifabric, Optifine and Fabric are made available for the later versions. Alright, so to actually download Optifabric for Minecraft Java Edition 1.18 or 1.18.1 in the future, all you need to do is just come to the CurseForge website, so it's curseforge.com as you guys can see, scroll down and then click on the Minecraft icon like so, and then once you are in this Minecraft section, look for where it says Mods. Click on mods and then search for Optifabric in the search bar there. So just start typing in Optifabric and it should come up with a mod result here that says Optifabric. And then click on that mod. Once you do go into the section for Optifabric, you need to click on files and then make sure that you are downloading the correct version of Optifabric. So as you guys can see, the current version that the Optifabric mod is available for is version 1.18. And all you need to do is just click on the download link like so, and it's just start the download within five seconds. If you guys aren't seeing a download link over here, you need to actually click into the file which should then generate the download link all right so let's go ahead and download another mod so we can make sure that optifabric is working with other fabric based mods as well so let's actually download the minimap mod here so let's go ahead and download zero's minimap so i'm going to search for zero which is spelled x-a-e-r-o and then download the minimap mod for fabric i'm going to click on files and then search for the fabric version so as you guys can see we already have the fabric version available for version 1.18.1 but because i am using optifabric for version 1.18 at the moment i'm going to get this version all right so i'm going to assume that you guys already do have fabric installed but if you haven't i have done a video on how to download and install fabric and how to download and install forge as well all in one tutorial video so do make sure to check out that video if you already haven't downloaded or installed fabric for minecraft java 1.18 or 1.18.1 so as you guys can see we do have a fabric api mod which is also required by some of the mods that we are downloading and installing so do make sure that you download that mod as well the next thing we need to do is actually download optifine as well because without that mod the optifabric mod would not function properly so go to the optifine.net website click on downloads and then we need to actually get the preview version so just make sure that you are reading the description for optifabric and if you read the description on the optifabric files it does say it's compatible with the preview versions of minecraft so we can actually go ahead and click on the mirror link here or download link and download this version so as of today's date this is the current version of optifine which is compatible with the current version of optifabric if you are watching this in the future obviously these versions will be different so do make sure that you are downloading the correct version of optifine if you guys do want to get some shaders just go back to the curseforge.com website and you can download a list of different shaders to use alongside optifine and optifabric on the the fabric version 1.18 and then obviously later on for version 1.18.1 so let's go ahead and download the astralex shaders over here i'm going to click on download and i'm going to wait the five seconds for the download to start and then finish 
All right, so I've gone ahead and placed all of the files that I downloaded onto my desktop. We can now go ahead and open up the new Minecraft launcher. And then once that loads up, we can actually go inside the Minecraft directory and start installing our mods and the shader packs as well. All right, so we need to go to the installation section over here. And as you guys can see, I do have a fabric installation installed and it does say fabric loader version 1.18. This is fabric version 0.12.9. In the future, you might see a newer version of the fabric loader. For example, you might see fabric loader 1.18 one or newer versions as i mentioned earlier i did do a video tutorial on how to download and install fabric and how to download and install forge for minecraft java edition version 1.18 so if you guys haven't already done so and you want to see how to download and install fabric for minecraft java then make sure that you do watch that video i will leave a link in the description for that video tutorial okay now if you hover over where it says fabric loader click on this folder icon it should open up your main minecraft directory in your main minecraft directory you should have a folder that says mods if for any reason you don't have this folder chances are that this is the first time you are installing fabric so you might not have that folder then you need to right click on an empty space and then click on new click on folder and then rename that folder to mods we can then go inside this folder and now i can actually go ahead and drag all of the mod files and place them inside the mods folder like so so as you guys can see i've got fabric api i've got optifabric i've got the preview version of optifine and i've got the zeros minimap mod file there for fabric one 18. We can then go one level higher back into the Minecraft directory and now we need to look for a folder which is the shader packs folder. If you don't have this folder right click on an empty space, click on new, click on folder and then rename it to shader packs like it says over here and then go inside the shader packs folder and now we can actually drag the Astralex shaders zip file inside the shader packs folder so it should look something like this and then we can just close this down we can go back inside our minecraft launcher and then click on play where it says fabric loader and then wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see the game is now loaded up let me go ahead and maximize this window at the bottom here it does say optifine 1.18 and it's got the version number there it also says minecraft 1.18 fabric and then modded in brackets if i go to options click on video settings it should also tell me the version of optifine that i am using with fabric thanks to the optifabric mod you can also confirm that optifine is working well with the fabric because we do have this shaders button here and we have all the different buttons here and options that we would expect to use with optifine so let's go ahead and actually enable the shaders and i've got the astralex shader over here enabled but if you guys have other shaders here just click on them to enable them and then click on done and that should enable the shaders for your minecraft java game we can now go into single player and launch our game and now we can have a look if the mods and the optifine functions are working properly in our single player world so let's wait for the world to now load up all right so as you guys can see the minimap mod is working alongside shaders and optifine is working as it should we've got the connected glass here and connected textures and i am able to enjoy the game with optifine shaders and mods all running at the same time in minecraft java edition version 1.18 and this should also be possible for version 1.18.1 and future releases of Minecraft Java Edition. As you guys can see, the Astral X shaders look really nice. We do have some nice sky there and some nice shader effects as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to download and how to install Optifabric and Optifine for Fabric on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 or even version 1.18.1, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.